Hey everybody, Chris Rock out on the Louisiana Grills patio again, and today we're gonna to be making a barbecuterie board. Now what's a barbecuterie board? Let me show you. So when I'm putting together a charcuterie board, or in this case, a barbecuterie board, a couple things that I always think of is how it's gonna look, the presentation of it, what I'm gonna have on the board, and things that my guests are gonna enjoy. And the first thing that I, like to, that I like to build with is I like to build with my sauces and my, and my condiments. So, pico de gallo. That's some chimichurri there. Here's some real nice whole grain mustard. Hummus, you can't have a charcuterie or barbecuterie board without hummus. And this is my personal favorite, and I think it's something that a lot of people overlook. These are cornichons. In the gourmet section of your store, or even online, Amazon, anybody, you can get these cornichons. These are fantastic little pickles. And man, mm, do they taste good. And they complement barbecue so well. Hard to describe how they taste. A really good pickled taste. But once you've had them, you'll want to have them on every board you make. And I always put some olive oil on my boards. Now, this is great when you have bread or items for dipping. And what I like to do with the olive oil, some of you have been to restaurants where they've always put, put some spices in it. I like to use a little black label rub in mine. Just enough. And that'll slowly sink to the bottom. And that'll flavor the olive oil. And plus, give you a, a good little taste once you've got your bread down in there. You'll get that great olive oil taste and the rub as well. Nothing like it. What goes next? I like to bring in the cheese. And there's nothing like a good cheese. So what I would say, guys, if you're doing a board at home and you really want to spend some money on something, spend the money on the cheese. And buy a couple of really good quality cheeses. You'll really enjoy the difference in taste and the way that they look on your board really, to me, makes it look fantastic. So let's put down a few cheeses and see how we look. So our cheese. We've got some very nice Gouda here. Fresh Bocconcini mozzarella, beautiful, beautiful imported Ammerlander Swiss cheese, some Roquefort cheese, and then some goat cheese. Now, what I like to do with a goat cheese is I take a little bit of olive tapenade. You can buy this, again, in your store. Any fine foods grocery store will have an olive tapenade that you can use. It's fantastic. It's olives, it's pickles, it's peppers, a little bit of olive oil. And what I like to do with the goat cheese is put this right on top and give it just that little bit of extra. And that's what I'm talking about. When you're talking about how this looks, your guests are gonna look at this and they're gonna think, oh my God, you spent all, you spent all day on this. No, you spent the amount of time it took to put your goat cheese on and then your tapenade. And it can be our little secret. So now that we've got the cheeses on, we're gonna start to bring in the meats. Now I know this is what you've all been waiting for, is to see that meat hit the tray. Um, we're not gonna be cooking today, I've done all the cooking for you. So today, we're gonna to be putting on the meats right after the cheeses and assembling those. So let me get to that and show you how this will look. So this is what makes a barbecuterie board, a barbecuterie board, is the barbecue. Great prime brisket. 16 hours, no wrap, no injection, right in the LG 1200. These are slab bacon burnt ends. So the bacon before it's cut in the slab, we take those and cube those up about four or five hours in the smoker with some of our rub, and then we sauce them with a little bit of our applewood barbecue sauce, another hour, five hours of effort, gives you unimaginable joy and your guests are gonna love it. Pulled pork, you can't have a barbecuery board without pulled pork. Santa Maria tri-tip, and smoked sausage. Now, when I arrange it, I kinda try, try to have things go together. Tri-tip, I always try to have near the, near the pico de gallo, a little bit of chimichurri by the pulled pork, hummus going with the, with the brisket, and a little bit of grainy mustard up here. So as you can see, all these things starting to come together and make something that really, really is gonna be beautiful for your guests and a great presentation and some great food. Okay, now this is what really completes it for me is a lot of the little things that you don't think about. Brisket, in a lot of parts of the world, people eat brisket with pickles and onions. I eat brisket with no sauce at all, but Pickles, onions, some almonds, some pistachios, some olives. We've got some tomato here. You can tell everybody that you had something healthy when you had your barbecuterie board. 
And if you get a couple of bare spots like right here and right here, don't worry about that. If you've run out of ingredients, if somebody snacking on your barbecue before it ever made it to the board, don't worry about that. Get some garnish. I like to use rosemary and take that and fill up the space with it. And just a couple of sprigs of rosemary here and there. Or you can use any other herb that you might have in your backyard. But just a few sprigs here and there. Look at how nice that dresses it up. And it really brings the whole thing together. So last but not least, we've added in our cornichons. And we've added in some fantastic bread and crackers. Slider rolls, nice crusty bread, some great crackers. Always make it. And last but not least, our applewood onion barbecue sauce. No barbecuery board would be complete without it. So have a great weekend. Enjoy Super Bowl. Enjoy your barbecuery board. And we'll see you soon.